yet another crop deaths argument, but instead of looking at it in the usual basic, let's just debunk it with maths that a five-year-old could probably do, um, let's look at this from another angle for once, because this is something that I've seen time and time again now, and even from my own conversations recently with farmers who seem quite pissed off and upset by the fact that those they are the people that are being accused of this. It's, it's not vegans you're accusing, even though that's what you're attempting to do and that's what you're trying to obfuscate when you try and mention this claim. It's actually the farmers you're blaming for this mass extinction of life. When you say every rodent, every bird, every small mammal, you know, every insect, it's the farmers farmers you're accusing of going out of their way to destroy life it's not vegans and the silly thing is there are lots and lots of preventative methods that already exist out there whether they're harm-free pesticides and herbicides whether they're ultrasound emitters whether they're people that walk through the fields before the harvest all these things exist already and have done for some time and potentially looking forward there are always ways of reducing this even further we could look at ways that don't use arable farming for example and looked at something like vertical farming which would almost completely eliminate crop deaths but apart from that i want to make it really clear that this accusation that you constantly make is not against vegans it is against farmers so if you're one of these back british farmers i support the farmers sort of people i should probably have a look at what you're saying and what you're suggesting and who actually your accusations are against because the people that you're supposedly backing and defending are the very same people that you're condemning and criticizing 